Good morning, BoatingBanner.com fans. Captain Larry here. Chapter 34. We are going to get into bass boat rebuilds. I've had a lot of requests for this, and I happen to have an old project that I needed to get finished, so it's going to work out well. Let me just tell you what had happened. When I first got into the upholstery, uh, this is a while ago now, of course, I was, I didn't know if I could do it or not, so I didn't want to do it on any of my products, my furniture, my boat. So I found a, a gentleman on uh, Craigslist who was selling uh, boat seats, bass boat seats. And I thought that would be a good thing to practice on to see if I could do this or not. So this is what I did. I ended up only paying $50 uh, for the uh, for the three seats, and uh, what I ended up getting, which worked out pretty perfect, was this one here, brand new, never used. I, have, I mean, it has some age on it, so it's not a new one, but it's uh, never been in a boat. So he had this one here, so I used that. I said, okay, that's my gold standard, and then my first attempt ever. <laughs> This one here. Uh, this is my first upholstery job. Uh, again, a scale of one to ten, I'd give it a five maybe. Uh, you see, I, was, I made these too big. Uh, the fit is not bad. And these, these, these are hard. Seats are the hardest ones to reupholster. So uh, don't beat yourself up if the seats don't look perfect. Uh, but I thought it looked like a very good facsimile to that. Then I left it. So. <laughs> Years go by, and I've had these in the corner, and I was going to do this one here, and uh, so but I never got around to it. So here we are. Now we've got a good, perfect time to bring this out and get this done. I've already, as you can see, stripped off the, uh, the vinyl, so I mean, that's not that big of a job. It is plastic, so the staples come out a little tough. Let me show you what I did. There's so many little pieces what is what makes this hard. And all I simply did, if you can see that, is lay them out on the floor like a jigsaw puzzle. And that's what we're going to put together. So, so here we are. And I will... Uh, I gotta cut, trace, obviously trace all those pieces and then cut them out uh, and then bring them back. So you've seen all of that, there's nothing to learn there. So I will just do the tracing, get that done, get it cut out, bring the pieces over here and I'll bring you back when I start sewing them. Okay everybody, just a real quick presentation. Everything is now traced and cut out. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna bring them now, I did this on the floor and now I'll bring them to the table and kind of go over make sure they're all cut properly before I start sewing. And I recommend that for everybody. Okay, here I go. I'll bring you back when the sewing starts. Come back here, everybody. Okay, uh, what we've done here is I've traced everything as I've shown you. Uh, and again, what I do is I bring it all back and I check, make sure all the pieces <laughs> Uh, the size that they should be and the shape that they should be. Uh, I'm going back to A&E's T92 coated polyester black thread. I've taken the Tenera out and again anytime you anytime you do that it's really wise to uh, do a test, do a test run. Make sure again all your knots are pulled up within the material and uh, the, the big thing here obviously we had to we had to have three turns in on the tension. We had to really increase our tension to get that done with the Tenera. Regular, you do not need regular thread. So I just pulled it back about two and a half turns. So, looks pretty good. I think we'll be all right. Okay, what I have decided to do is to uh, do the back backrest portion of the seat first. And uh, this is the uh, template one. Uh, what I didn't do, I did not buy any of this kind of, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of a pitted black vinyl. I, I, didn't, I don't even like it. But they had it in several places and all I simply did is cut, 
cut it in with the plain black and just made when I and use it as my template to make my regular black. So it's all going to be just plain black. And of course, again, I cannot do the logo. So what I've decided to do is start from the back and work front. And I'm going to go around on the side. You can see this is uh, from the first project I did. Get the back, get the sides with a number of different colors. And then this is the, this will be the, the front actual, the front of the back rest. So you have these, these kind of three pieces here. And I'll put them on uh, kind of last. So I'm going to start off with this thing here, which is, I don't know, the head piece or whatever. And sew that on. And then sew the, sew the gray. And then sew the dark gray. So that's kind of the uh, philosophy I'm going to use. Again, I simply took the template, marked, marked the middle of it, and I took our color and marked the middle of this headrest piece. So I will show that. Uh, should be no double seam even on this or anything else. So I will I'll start uh, sewing, and I'll bring you back if there's anything uh, remarkable. Otherwise, it will be straightforward. Back to everybody. Uh, I finished the backrest for the seat. Uh, and I was going to try to sh show it to you, but the sewing is so intricate. Uh, I'll try, I guess, for the, for the seat portion. This is the backrest portion. Uh, boy, let, let me kind of show you what the, what the problems are. If I can say anything, do not start, as I did, on a, a seat like this for your first reupholstery work because it <laughs> you might change your mind about whether you want to do it. Uh, what, what really gets you, I don't know if you can see this here, is they have these little wedges on both sides. They go over the headrest to fill it out, which makes sense of course, but uh, if you can see, like you've got corners like this where there's like one, two, three, four, five pieces of vinyl all coming in at different directions that need to be sewed together on both of these sides, and that is a bear. Because uh, you get to always remember over and over and tell yourself it's always good face to good face, otherwise you'll get you'll get messed up. And uh, it came out pretty good, besides a little wad of stuff up there which doesn't look very nice. And of course, I cannot put the uh, the logo on; I don't have that capability. But uh, came out pretty good. We put a nice double stitch on uh, both the sides there, and same as the uh, control product. Yeah, what saved my life, quite frankly, is being that I had three uh, three seats. One of them I totally dis disassembled for the templates. The other one I left together. And what really helps you is if you, is you keep going back to that temp the, the uh, finished product and <laughs> measuring yourself, you know, are, are these light gray, are they in the right place, are the, are the dark gray in the right place, are the seams here far enough apart or the right distance, uh, making sure you had the right piece of uh, vinyl in the right section, so I kept uh, measuring, 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 measuring putting the uh, template on it, and then I put the product that I had cut out to replace it, just to make sure that everything was going to line up, and I think it did. Pretty good. Not perfect, of course. So anyway, this will be the, uh, as I said at the back, this goes kind of a side, two sides of the seat, and this is the headrest. So anyway, our next project will be uh, putting this on the foam, and uh, I will definitely show you that. Uh, when I did the, <coughs> the last one, first one, long ago, what worries me, as you can see, this is slides on. Well, this is a very wide section here, and it's much wider than this. So when you're, when you're trying to put it on, this section here inhibits getting the back vinyl all the way down. So what I did is I ended up cutting leaf cuts here about this far up so 
so that I could get it over the top. Well, when I took this off, I paid attention, and I found out that you don't have to cut those. Uh, if you roll, that's why rolling application is so critical, and I think I might be able to get it over the corners. I'm going to try to not cut them this time, because this makes a mess. When you try to sew this after installation, it's, it's terrible, terrible. And it does a poor job, and it's really not right, so it's, you really need to try to get it on as a, as a complete unit. So that's what we will do next. Let me get set up and I'll bring you right back. Back to everybody. Uh, I decided not to mount them until I got both pieces done, both the backrests and the seat. So I just went on to the, to the seat now. So I've been trying to think when I can bring you all in. Uh, <laughs> this is hard. Definitely do not start with one of these, I'll tell you. I uh, forgot how rough it was. No wonder why I had left it sitting. Uh, got one side done of the seat. And uh, the hardest thing I think is the visualization, even though I have the absolute perfect template there, uh, is how all of this is fitting together. And when, do, when should you sew one piece as compared to the other uh, so everything stays square? What I decided to do was, this is seamed, this is the very bottom, this is the back bottom of the seat, and it's uh, sewn over for a seam, so I just put that there, and then this is the back of the seat that gets stapled down, so I, and a portion of that gets stapled to this piece, so I put that on next, and then it goes into these different colors. Now, uh, so what I, what I decided to do was work from the bottom up. I don't know if that was right or not, but uh, so I, I put this on. And then I put the light gray on this black. And then I put the dark gray on the light gray. But as you can see, the, what really makes this a struggle is about halfway down, we have a, another wedged black piece that has to be attached to really is one, two, three, four pieces all coming together there. And you need to put it at the right sp spot, otherwise, it's, of course, it's not going to fit. So I put that on there. And then, of course, you go, and then we go down here. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven pieces all coming together there because of this wedge that goes uh, to the contour of the seat. So now I finish one side, and this is the, the very front of the seat, it goes here. So now my thought is, do I continue around like that and finish up here, working from this way down, or do I do start all the way in the, on the back like I did with this piece and work from the bottom up? <laughs> and the reason I, you, you have to worry about those things, again, you have to look at the big picture, that if there is a problem, where do you want the problem to express itself? Uh, obviously, you would want it on the bottom of the seat or something or under the seat. Uh, that is the I, idea here. So anyway, I don't know what kind of sewing I can show you. It's I, What I just keep doing is keep going back to this template and to make sure that the angles are all right and all this kind of thing before I sew it. And make sure it's always good phase to good phase. You've got to kind of measure down when do these in intersect because they're, they seem like they're all randomly all over the place. So I'm sure they're not, but that's just the way it feels. And then you sew and then you put the next piece on. And so anyway, uh, let me think about this and I'll bring you back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're getting near the end of this best boat seat repair. Uh, I apologize, I haven't shown you much sewing. Uh, it's, it's, it's very comp complicated, unfortunately, and very hard to show. So I figured I'd just go ahead and do it. I got both the, this is the uh, backrest portion of the seat. I double stitched, similar to what they did, but uh, like I say, the trouble I had 
is right here. There's a little wedge that goes for the headrest. And you have a junction of so many seams here. So I kept going back to the original product and back and forth, make sure that the, did these various colors of gray hit the right spot on the right on the backrests and stuff? I mean, I, if I had any suggestion for you, is that keep going back and back and back and checking. Now here's a seat, same thing. I did a lot more double stitching on this one here to firm it up a little bit. But again, it was it was hard. Again, more of these wedges. Uh, and where did they hit on the the product. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do, since I haven't done a very good job showing you that, uh, what I will do is uh, we have two inserts to put in now. One for the seat and uh, one will be for the backrest that will go here. And those, these are, these are they. This is the seat. Uh, it's a little more complex because we have hold down strips on the bottom, so I had to cut out hold down strips, and so we'll be sewing. I cut out the foam, and what, again, what I'm going to do, I you know, I cut the foam shorter than they do. They they cut the scrim so that it is in the seam. I, I don't like to do that because it's hard for me. <laughs> so <coughs> I cut it <coughs> a little shorter, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> so <coughs> we should be able to get the hold on strips on the side three sides <coughs> and it goes on for the seat. So I will show you that. And this is the backrest portion. It has a, it's a plastic plate with a foam on it. It also has scrim too. So I cut out I cut out the vinyl already like I did for this one. Cut out the scrim. That's the scrim from the other seat that I just again copied but I made it about a half an inch thinner. So that I hopefully don't have to do much uh, sewing into the screw when I'm going around. So we do have to make the pleats on both of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little adhesive on these, try to center them properly so they won't move around. Like I say, that's my biggest problem with screw. It keeps moving on me. You've got it positioned exactly the way you want it, you think. And then you sew it, all of a sudden the thing switches on you and then you know, you're cockeyed. So I'm going to put a little adhesive to try to keep that from happening on both of these. So let me spray it on, get it set, then I'll bring you back and we'll, we'll put the uh, pleats in these two. And that will pretty much be it. Uh, and then we will uh, wrap up this chapter. And I think what I'll do because the uh, mounting is going to be so difficult is we'll do that in a whole separate chapter. So what we'll, we'll have is basically We'll have everything sewn together and they'll just mount it and that's this is chapter 35 i guess it is so we'll do it in 36 we'll do the the mounting so anyway let me get set up get this thing glued and i'll bring it right back okay welcome back uh, i figured i'll just show you one there's no sense showing you two because it'll be exactly the same uh again what i did is i just cut out scrim about a half an inch shy on all sides so that I can have clean vinyl to sew to. I measured here, and just put it on there, and then measured where the stripes are supposed to go. So we did that. And so I got a seam here, I need a seam up here. So we'll do that for the next for our, this pleat. get a faint pencil and you get black red on top of it. You shouldn't be able to notice it, I wouldn't think. Okay, now <laughs> the scrim. I hate, I hate, I hate sewing over scrim. But hopefully the uh, 77 pieces are behaving itself. Hopefully 
it's a good facsimile to what we have over there. And now we're going to put the hold down strips. Okay, there's one on the back and one on both sides. So let's put that in now while we have, a, <laughs> have the ability to do that. Right up on the edge here. Again, we shouldn't be hitting the scrim, so we should be okay here. Watch our line, keep our edges good. Nobody will be seeing it just to hold the seat down. Okay, you see then this will just fold over the back side of this will be sewn on top of that. So you won't even see of course that hold down strip like that. Okay, well I guess that is about I, I gotta put the other two hold ons on. And then I gotta sew that one now. I've just got some pressure on that this portion here. We'll be sewing that next, but I say it will be exactly the same as this almost, so uh, except we've got to put a couple of side strips on. Anyway, so let's wrap up here. Uh, this is good. We've got everything going. Uh, I will just be sewing these. Uh, this will just simply be stapled onto this plastic uh, mold, whatever you call it.